use today, huh? This camera's out of here. Great, we just like to chat with all of you for a second. reception we got was cordial. I thought it was a little adversarial. I was expecting a conversation, but I guess that's the way it is. I think the owner of a small business, Champlain Planning Press in Burlington. We've had, uh, we've been in business for 20 years. We're very small. We have two or three employees. And we just can't afford to provide health care uh, now. So the, that hurts us and I think a lot of other very small businesses in Vermont because when we look to hire someone, we can't hire someone who needs to have health care. Now we're fortunate right now that the folks working for us have spouses who are covered by health care insurance. But, you know, I think it really restricts our ability to grow as a business and uh, it limits choices and it basically freezes everyone in place and uh, I just think it's important for our long-term economy to move to the type of uh, healthcare system that uh, Peter is uh, supporting. How do you think that would help business specifically? Uh, we'd just be looking for some way of not having to look for, tell people, well, we can't provide you with health insurance when we're next, the next time we look for an employee. So that's new. of these issues. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'd be glad, and I think all of us here from the business community would be glad to meet with Brian at his convenience and talk about this, because this is an important issue for Vermonters, including, I mean, not just businesses, but people working. Hi, I'm Don Mayer. I'm the CEO of Small Dog Electronics. We have 52 employees. And we provide health insurance for our employees. When I decide to expand my business, it's no longer just a question of the opportunities that expansion provide. It's
it's a question of how much does that health insurance cost for these employees. And in many times, the cost of health insurance is the same or, or close to the uh, salary of an entry-level worker. A single-payer health care system in Vermont would be the single most uh, uh, meaningful step we could take for economic development in our state. It will create jobs, it will create economic expansion. I am very surprised that Brian Doobie doesn't know this. I've been speaking about it for decades. I've spoken with him, I've spoken at public forums, I've spoken at the legislature. Single-payer health care system is the answer to economic development in Vermont. What do you think about the tactic? Uh, the tactic? I thought it was, I, I think that having a dialogue about single-payer health care in our state is an important process. Um, I'm disappointed that Brian wasn't here to talk with us. Uh, I consider Brian a friend of mine. I will be, continue to talk to Brian about this issue. Uh, I thought the staff here was very cordial. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity to talk about the issues. I think they're probably wondering, why not just call Brian in the campaign instead of a private meeting rather than kind of showing up in a group like this? This is the most important issue facing us in terms of economic development in our state. It needs to be an issue that we talk about directly. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I, I, I can respond to that. Andy, can respond to that? All right. Okay, Andy. Ready? If they were eager to have a dialogue, we would welcome the opportunity to do so if they would like to call and set up an appointment, but to ambush the office like this, they could.